A Portuguese man of war is not uh, not a true jellyfish at all. They're a, they're a colonial animal, and they have different body parts, kind of like organs in a in a human body that work together for different functions. Um, for example, they have stinging cells called nematocysts that are used for catching prey. The nematocysts are kind of like have a little coiled barb inside them. And when the cell gets released, they shoot out this barb, which has a neurotoxin, which can stun or even kill the prey, the typically fish. And if a human touches a, a tentacle of a man of war, um, they, can, they can cause a really nasty welt, very painful. Occasionally, they're even fatal. So the Portuguese man of war is named after the man of war warships from Portugal from the 16th to the 19th century. And the reference is to the pneumatophore or the, the gas-filled chamber on top of the Portuguese man of war, which functions like a sail. It catches the wind and moves them along the surface so they can find food. So when you see a Portuguese man of war, you just see this relatively small float at the surface, but actually the, most of their body is well below that. In fact, their tentacles can be as, uh, usually about 30 feet long, but can be as long as 100 feet, believe it or not.